Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers, and we truly appreciate your ongoing support. You may remember our actuators from earlier videos. Here, here, and here. They've shown up quite a few times. Surprisingly though, not many people have asked about their internal structure. So today, we're going to explain it ourselves. Most actuators you've seen probably follow a simple setup. A motor directly connected to a reduction gear. It's straightforward and easy to control. But the downside? It's not space efficient. At Bond Systems, we decided to tackle this space issue head on. Our goal was to reduce thickness without compromising performance. That's what we call real optimization. Instead of placing the motor behind the reducer, we wrapped it around the reducer. Kind of like how CPUs and GPUs have evolved thanks to nanotech. We can now fit more transistors into the same space. More performance, same efficiency, smaller size. That's real innovation. And the same idea applies to actuators. Take the hand of a humanoid robot, for example, to move each joint freely. The actuators driving them need to be smaller. Smaller actuators offer better design flexibility and mechanical efficiency. And when every joint becomes compact, the whole system gains extra room. Not just for wiring or cooling, but also for bigger batteries. That's why we believe miniaturization is the core of actuator innovation. Of course, we're not claiming to have invented this layout, but using this structure with a cycloidal reducer? That's still rare. And we've gone through countless tests and iterations to improve it further. Even now, we're refining it every single day. Miniaturizing actuators isn't just about shrinking the size. It's about delivering strong, stable torque even in thin designs. That's the real technical challenge of true miniaturization. Every challenge is just another step in the process. The important thing is to stay focused and keep moving forward. If you're curious about how our actuators are built, feel free to ask. We'd be happy to answer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.